Hello, I'm here with Dylan Gray, and he is this week's Midwest Conference Men's Swimming and Diving Performer of the Week. Congratulations, Dylan. Thank you. Well, uh, first of all, uh, this came after, or uh, as a result of your McAllister meet, where you went four for four in terms of event victories, uh, winning the 200 breaststroke, the 400 uh, IM, and then a couple of relays. Talk yeah. about your performance. Um, I was really happy with it. We, It's a fun meet. We go up there each year. Um, I was hoping to swim 200 breasts in 4 IM because I'm definitely going to be swimming at conference this year and uh, just trying to do some last minute tune-ups before we, as we head into uh, into conference and I felt pretty solid in both of them. I was going to say, which of uh, which event is your strongest, do you believe? Uh, 200 breasts for sure. Okay. Um, I was definitely recruited as a breaststroker, swam breaststroker in high school. Uh, definitely more focused in high school on the 100 breasts and since Dane Cedrinelle found I was actually a better 200 <laughs> breaststroker. So. If I'm not mistaken, I believe you lead the conference now in the 200 breast uh, stroke. Yeah, for top season this time, I guess that's what I'm told. Um, I'm happy with that, obviously. Uh, it all comes down to how we taper, though, and I, I really hope I can drop some more time off of last year's performance as well. Sure. Uh, uh, this year's team, obviously, is strong again. Talk about how much that helps you in performance as a swimmer, knowing that you have so many other good teammates to uh, train with and work with. Oh, it's phenomenal. I mean, when we go down to Florida each year, we all push each other really hard, and we're, I mean, we're up in each other's business for two weeks, we're living with each other. And even when we get back here, it's really great to have guys who are both older and younger than you who are at the same level, and in some cases better as well. So I think it's definitely speaks a lot to our team, just have the range of talent we have, and then um, there's always someone who's gonna be able to be there to push you, which is great. We were just talking off camera a little bit ago about how you are the fifth uh, men's swimmer and diver this year from Grinnell to win this award. In my years here at the college, that's almost unheard of. I never remember a team dominating <laughs> that much. What do you think that says about the squad? I think it says that we're pretty deep. Um, the fact that we have five guys who probably won it for winning a handful of different races too. I mean, I think butterfly, I am, distance and sprint freestylers have probably all won, and divers as well. The fact that we have a diver who's won it this year for the guys team says a lot about how we've really grown, not just in the pool, uh, going back and forth in the lanes, but on the boards as well. Um, and I think that's really going to carry over for conference. All right. Uh, talk about your goals and expectations as the season winds down here. Um, I just hope that I have a really strong taper because um, that's really what it comes down to is all, on top of all the yardage you put in throughout the season, if you have a good taper, be really well rested, eating well, uh, going to conference with that, knowing that you're going to do well, really carries over and I hope it does this year. So I'd like to see best times and hopefully put another banner up in the pool with the Grinnell team. All right. Well, again, congratulations yeah. on your honor and good luck the rest of the season. Thanks.